I mean, it's just been nothing but opportunity for me. Um, I actually played four out of five in college. I played more, mostly left tackle, uh, played both guard positions, got here, uh, came in as a guard. Uh, last year, I spent most of my time playing tackle on P-Squad. But uh, I mean, it, it's like I said, it's been nothing but opportunity. I'm definitely thankful for it, um, being able to just go out and show these coaches that I could play multiple positions um, and my versatility. So, yeah. I mean, it's definitely hard. It's definitely challenging. But the biggest thing for me is as long as you put the work in for it, it'll make everything smoother. Like, it's countless times where before practice, I'm out here just working on uh, one position, working on the next position, just working on all five positions. Um, before they even told me I was playing center, I was out here snapping with trash um, after practice, just getting snaps, getting ready for it just in case they threw me there. But, I mean, it's challenging. It's definitely challenging. Um, but... Like I said, I put the work in for it. I uh, stayed before practice, after practice. I, I spent extra time in the meeting room. I asked my coaches questions. I asked the older guys questions all the time. So, yeah. When you have to kind of spread your focus out like that versus coming in on just one particular position, does that inhibit your ability to kind of just focus on one thing at a time? I feel like it would do that if, like, it was a guy who was just not trying to go the extra mile. Like, me, like, I take what my coaches tell me. Like they tell me they want me to bounce between positions. They're not like, like I said, the last question. I, I just spend the extra time to make sure I get the job done. Like if my coach want me to get something done, like if my coach tell me he want me to play fullback tomorrow, I'm in the meeting room for like an extra two hours just trying to figure out, okay, what's going, what is the fullback supposed to do? They tell me play wide receiver. Like I'm out there asking the coach, like, okay, coach, what do I need to do? So basically just whenever they tell me I need to bounce positions, I'm always just trying to figure out what's going to put myself in the best position to be successful in that position. Yeah, definitely. When's the last time you snapped in a game before Saturday? That was my first time ever snapping. Wow. Yeah, ever. Was I nervous? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was definitely nervous, but um, at the end of the day, I wasn't anxious. I, w I was anticipating the game. I was ready for it. It's not like I didn't, like, I studied numerously times, like, staying after, like, meetings, asking my coach, asking the older guys, like, Ali Marpet. Ryan Jensen, like the whole starting five, asking those guys questions on what do I do versus this technique? Um, why, did, why do they do this and stuff like that? So yeah, I was definitely nervous. Um, but at the end of the day, I trust my guys. I trust the two guys beside me to help communicate the echo call. So yeah. Uh, it definitely means a lot. Um, every game I'm out there trying to put my best foot forward, put great stuff on film. Um, and then I'm, I'm going to Houston. I'm going to my old stumping grounds. I got my masters out there at Rice. So it's going to be good to have uh, old teammates, old coaches, uh, family members out there to come watch me play. Um, but yeah, I mean, it means a lot. I'm definitely trying to put my mark on this team um, and put my best foot forward for that game Saturday. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I feel like my coaches told me this plenty of times. When you learn the center position, you you automatically learn all five positions. Like just gaining and learning the concept of all the plays helps you out. Um, so yeah, like just playing center that definitely helps me out. Uh, playing all other five positions. Yeah. Because everything happens so much faster in there. Um. It yeah, it's that and. Another thing, it's like you literally have to steer the ship when you're playing center. Like, you literally have to tell guys where to go. Uh, you have to start everything. You have to find the mic. You have to look at different uh, safety rotations and stuff like that. So, I mean, it's, it's just you, you got to know it before everybody else. So, yeah, no, nah, that's, that's, that's so crazy. Uh, you're talking about, like, linebackers and d linemen. Yeah, that's crazy. That's a crazy rule. But, I mean, yeah, that's – that's crazy. But I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, that's what you watch film for. You see guys change numbers. You, you realize, OK, this guy was 45 last year. He number nine. That's the guy. So. Uh, not maybe. But like I said, I got those guys beside me. They echo the calls and they echo the snap count. So I'd be just fine. Yes, sir.
I mean, I'm fighting. I'm fighting every day. Um, I want to make the team. I, I told I told my coach at the beginning of camp, well, last year, I, my my aspirations for this game is like, ha, like I, I want to be a starter one day. I want to be an All Pro guy. I want to be in the Hall of Fame. Like I have so many high aspirations for this game. So like, I'm I'm not letting my foot off the gas by any means. I'm I'm still striving. I'm still staying after every day. I'm still watching more film and stuff like that. So it's it's definitely crazy. I'm sorry, what was that? How were you able to kind of grow over the last year and develop as a player? Um, I mean, I just honed in on everything that, like, I, I didn't do last year. Um, and then, like, at the end of the season last year, I mean, it was heartbreaking for me. Um, I went through a lot. Um, I lost my grandfather. I got cut from the scene right before the Super Bowl. So, I mean, it was just a lot. So that definitely helped me, like, focus in on what I needed to do and I set my goals and priorities straight right then and there. I took my diet to another level. Um, I took my workout schedule and everything to a different level. So I just, um, that helped me, that helped motivate me to, you know, come out this year and be the best player I could possibly be and basically just put my best foot forward. Uh, Billy Leverett. Yeah. Man, that was my guy, man. Y'all gonna make me tear up out here. <laughs> Nah, nah, it's all good. But yeah, that, that was my old man. He was my grandfather, um, my best fishing buddy. That, that's all we used to do. We used to go out there and fish. Um, yeah, he uh, he ended up dying of cancer um, last year, right around Christmas. So yeah, I miss that man a lot. But I know he's looking down over me right now. I hope I'm making him proud. Yeah, no, nah, absolutely. I, I I wasn't there, but I was definitely rooting for the guys. I was texting them um, halftime. I was telling them what I was seeing and just trying to motivate them from, you know, right down the street. But I was so happy for the guys. I, I swear, like, those guys made me so proud. Like, those guys went out there and did their thing. And, I, and I, I still tell them that to this day. Like, I look up to all those guys, um, even the backups. I still I look up to all of them. They did their thing. Um, yeah, they, they told me something like that. Um, it was basically like a kind of like a shock. It was like, um, I didn't, I honestly didn't even know Earl was coming, but I mean, I, I, I understand. I mean, you want experience by all means you got it. Um, and like, that's the thing I'm myself is like, I want, I want, at the end of the day, I want my team to win by any means. Like, like I said, I go out there and play fullback, uh, tight end wide receiver, whatever it takes for my team to win. I definitely want to win. So, I mean, that's just a part of sacrifice. If, if y'all needed a more experienced guy, by all means, get it. You mentioned you wanted to make your, you're to make your mark on this team. What do you feel is the thing that differentiates you uh, this year? Versatility. I mean, last year I was limited to, you know, just guard during camp. But, like, this year I played literally all five positions. I played left tackle, left guard, center, right guard, tackle. Just showing my coaches, like, look, coach, like, Whatever y'all need on the offensive line, I'm there. I can step in and I can get the job done. Is that kind of a concerted effort to, you know, to try to have more, uh, a better chance of making the roster? I mean, I, I honestly feel like that's just my competitiveness. Like, I, I, I want to do everything. Like, like they, they say, like, the more positions you can play, the more valuable you are. So, like, me, like, put me anywhere. I'll play and I'll get the job done and more than that. So last year, I, I want to say I was like 314. This year, I'm like 320. Yeah. You still think yourself as, as a guard by default, probably, as, as like the most natural position? Guard center. I still got a, I still got a six pack. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.